VY Canis Majoris is a red hypergent in the constellation Canis Major. It is one of the largest known stars by radius and also one of the most luminous of its type. It is approximately 1420 a plus or minus 120 solar radii, and about 1.2 kiloparsecs distant from Earth. V. Weichmar is a single star categorized as a semi-regular variable and has an estimated period of 2000 a days. It has an average density of 5 to 10 a milligram per meter 3. If placed at the center of the solar system, V. Y. Canis Majoris's surface would extend beyond the orbit of Jupiter, although there is still considerable variation in estimates of the radius, with some making it larger than the orbit of Saturn. Nature the first known recorded observation of V. Y. Canis Majoris is in the star catalogue of JAR copyright Rami Laland, on March 7, 1801, which lists V. Y. Khmer as a seventh magnitude star. Further 19th century studies of its apparent magnitude demonstrate that the star has been fading since 1850. Since 1847, V. Y. Khmer has been known to be a crimson star. During the 19th century, Observers measured at least six discrete components to V. Y. Khmer, suggesting the possibility that it was a multiple star. These discrete components are now known to be bright areas in the surrounding nebula. Visual observations in 1957 and high resolution imaging in 1998 showed that V. Y. Khmer does not have a companion star. V. Y. Khmer is a high luminosity M star with an effective temperature of about 3,500 kelvins placing it at the upper right-hand corner of the hertzsprung euro russell diagram and meaning it is a highly evolved star. During its main sequence, it would have been an O star with a mass of 15 to 35 ma per mil. Distance Stellar distances can be calculated by measuring parallaxes as the Earth orbits around the Sun. However, V. Y. Khmer has a tiny parallax with a high margin of error, which makes it unreliable to calculate its distance using this method. In 1976, Charles J. Larder and Mark J. Reed published the discovery of a bright-rimmed molecular cloud 15 minutes of arc east of V. Y. Khmer. At the edge of the cloud bordered by the bright rim, an abrupt decrease in the CO emission and an increase in brightness of the 12 CO emission were observed, indicating possible destruction of molecular material and enhanced heating at the cloud rim interface, respectively. Lada and Reed assumed the distance of the molecular cloud is approximately equal to that of the stars, which are members of open cluster NGC 2362, that ionize the rim. NGC 2362 has a distance of 1.5 a plus or minus 0.5 kiloparsecs as determined from its color magnitude diagram. V. Y. Khmer is projected onto the tip of the cloud rim, suggesting its association with the molecular cloud. In addition to that, the velocity of the molecular cloud is very close to the velocity of the star. This further indicates the association of the star with the molecular cloud, and consequently with NGC 2362, which means V. Y. Khmer is also at a distance of 1.5 kpc. A more recent measurement of the distance to NGC 2362 gives 1.2 kpc. Recent VLBI direct measurements of the parallax of V. Y. Khmer give a distance of 1.1 Euro 1.2 kpc. Size University of Minnesota professor Roberta M. Humphreys originally estimated the radius of V. Y. Khmer at 1,800 to 2,100 solar radii, which would make it the largest known star by radius. However, a more recent VLTI direct measurement gives a radius of 1420 a plus or minus 120 solar radii. Luminosity In 2006, Humphreys used the spectral energy distribution distance of V. Y. Canis Majoris to calculate its luminosity. Since most of the radiation coming from the star is reprocessed by the dust in the surrounding cloud, she integrated the total fluxes over the entire nebula and showed that V. Y. Canis Majoris has a luminosity of 5.6 a, 105 a la per mil. More recent estimates of the luminosity using a variety of methods give lower values of around 3 a, 105 a la per mil. Circumstellar Nebula V. Y. Canis Majoris is surrounded by an extensive nebula that shows condensations that were taken as companion stars and that has been extensively studied with the aid of the Hubble Space Telescope, 
showing a complex structure with filaments and arcs caused by past eruptions, with a structure similar of the one surrounding the yellow hypergent IRC plus 10420, something that has led some astronomers to suggest that V. Y. Canis Majoris will become an object similar to the former, and later a wolf rayet star. Controversy There have been conflicting opinions of the properties of V. Y. Khmer. In one view, the star is a very large and very luminous red hypergent. The various larger estimates of the size and luminosity fall outside the bounds of current stellar theory, both beyond the maximum predicted size of any star and far cooler than a star of its luminosity can become. In another opinion, the star is a normal red supergent, with a radius around 600 solar radii and falling comfortably inside models of stellar structure and evolution. More recent papers produce intermediate values for radius and luminosity, falling at the very extreme for the expected size and luminosity of red supergents. V. Y. Canis Majoris also illustrates the conceptual problem of defining the surface of very large stars. With an average density of 0.000005 to 0.000010 a kilogram per meter 3, the star is a hundred thousand times less dense than the atmosphere of the Earth at sea level. It is also undergoing strong mass loss with the outer layers of the star no longer gravitationally bound. The definition of the boundary of such stars is based on the Rosalind radius, the location at which the optical depth is 1. In cases such as V. Y. Khmer, the radius may be defined on a different opacity value or on an opacity at a particular wavelength. See also Orders of magnitude, list of largest known stars, list of most luminous stars, WASP 17b, A136 A1, NML Cygni, UI Scuti, Westerlund 1 26, References. Further reading, Kastner, Joel H. Weintraub, David A. Hubble Space Telescope Imaging of the Mass Losing Supergent V. Y. Canis Majoris. Astronomical Journal 115. 1592 a Euro 1598. Bibcode, 1998 AJ, 115.1592 KDOI, 10.1086-300297 R, external links, Astronomers Map a Hypergent Star's Massive Outbursts, Hubble Site News Center, January 8, 2007, What is the Biggest Star in the Universe? Fraser Kane, Universe Today. Published April 6, 2008. Updated May 13, 2013. Amos, Jonathan. Herschel Telescope Fingerprints Colossal Star. BBC News. Retrieved November 30, 2009. The death throes of one of the biggest stars known to science have been spied by Europe's Herschel Space Telescope. A, American Association of Variable Star Observers. Remote Sensing Tutorial Page A5 Archive 